All right, here is a latter type of question that I want to use to talk about the concept of lever arm. Now, the axis of rotation is going to be about this point down here at the bottom. You've got this ladder with a length L, making an angle of theta to the horizontal. And actually, I want this to be hinges. So it's hinged right here, just to be different from the other ladder question. It's hinged at that point. And you have a reaction force to the right, because when the ladder wants to rotate, the hinges pull on it that way as the ladder pulls the opposite direction. And then the hinges are pulling up. Notice that you have the force of gravity. You have the force of gravity down here. And then, just to give us something to talk about, I have two other forces at the top. So you have a force with pulling on the ladder to the left and another one pulling upwards. My main goal in this example is to talk about how to find the lever arm. Now, remember that lever arm is... That distance from the line of action, let's, let's start with this Fy force right here. So Fy is going up, but the line of action is a line that goes all the way in that line, up and down. The lever arm is the, the line from the axis of rotation. It will always go through the axis of rotation to this line of action where it hits it at right angles. Let me draw that for you. I'm going to change colors. So here is the line of action for FY. So the lever arm, I'll draw that in blue. Now we'll go for purple. That sounds nice. The lever arm is from the axis of rotation here. Notice that it makes a right angle. The lever arm is always from the axis of rotation out to the line of action, the line that the force is in, at right angles. Here's the lever, here's, there's the axis of rotation, here's the line of action, and there is the lever arm. Now, the question that many of you ask is whether you should use cosine or sine to find the lever arm. It's easier if you just look at what the lever arm is and then use trig to find it. This distance, which is the length of the ladder, is the hypotenuse of the triangle. I need this value, again, from the axis of rotation out to the line of action. And because I know this angle here, I'm going to use cosine. So the lever arm will be, that's, we use the letter R for that, will equal L, the length of the ladder, times, in this case, the cosine of the angle. So to find the torque, due to that force in the y-axis, that would equal Fy, and then times the lever arm, which is L cosine theta. Let's, whoops, I'm going to get rid of that. Let's pick another one. So, let's say we want to look at the lever arm due to fx up here. Well, here's the axis of rotation down at the bottom. And fx, the line of action, is anywhere along here. The lever arm is a line always drawn from the axis of rotation, in this case, up to where it intersects that at right angles. So, again, I think I'll use the color green for that. 
the line of action. The line of action is the line that this is in. Okay, so the line that this is in here, that line there, the lever arm is going to go from the axis of rotation up to that where it strikes it at right angles. So the torque due to this Fx, which by the way would be counterclockwise, right, because it's pulling it that way, that direction, that's a counterclockwise torque. I forgot to mention earlier that this Fy is a clockwise torque because it's pulling it that direction, that direction. But we're down, at, we're talking about Fx, and so Fx pulls it this way to find the value of the, the lever arm R, again, that's, that's this value here for Fx. R equals the length of the ladder times, well, wait a second, where's your angle? My angle is right here, right? This angle is the same as that angle there. So there's theta. Or I could use um, 90 minus theta if I wanted that angle there. Uh, but anyhow, L, length of the ladder, times the sine of, sorry, yeah, times the sine of theta, right? That would give me this length right here. You know, that's the, that's the lever arm going from the axis of rotation out to... Um, the line of action. Now, the very last one that has a, a, a lever arm and a torque is this force of gravity. And the force of gravity acting down here, that's going to be a counterclockwise torque because this is going to go about the axis of rotation this way, right? It's pulling down to the left of the axis of rotation would make it go counterclockwise. And this line of action is in the same direction as the force. So there's your line of action down there. And then your lever arm would be r from the axis of rotation right here and notice that that is adjacent to the angle, so I'll use cosine. So I'll go, I'm running out of room, so let's do that. So R, this is for the force of gravity, R equals L over 2 because we're halfway along the ladder. So this distance right, this distance here, is, which is the hypotenuse, is L over 2, times the cosine of the angle. And then that torque would be the force of gravity, L over 2, cosine theta. Again, that's a torque due to gravity, and it's a counterclockwise torque.